so uh welcome welcome if anyone's listening thank you for listening this first story is from the daily star by a isabel dickinson special sas unit has been trained to respond to an alien invasion of earth it's a little i think the story it's an interesting story but i think it's a little less boombastic than than that it even says here that an elite unit the sas of around 20 soldiers have been trained to tackle a range of alternate threats including the possible contact with extraterrestrials so the article itself goes through and they uh they have a they they, they say they have a source that says that the SAS is, of course, trained for multiple situations, and they train for pretty much anything. That's what they're that's what their training's for. And in the conversation, apparently, the name aliens was brought up all the way through an alien life form, so they can do everything, and they deal with the alien life. Which I think, if if you're interested in this kind of topic, this shouldn't be something that would surprise you very much. Um, the governments have been going after UFOs for a very long time. The question would be, and I think a more interesting question would be, how are they preparing? I mean, I know they're probably not going to say how they're preparing, but how would you prepare for something that you apparently have never encountered or have they encountered alien life before? And they know. I mean, the the amount of variables I can't even imagine would be on the kind of alien life, their own weaponry, their own defenses, and what we could counter them with, unless there's information already known, which would be possibly um, recovered alien bodies. I mean, if aliens are just, you know, simple flash, or there's also theories that some of them are robotic or like a biological life form, but like an android, you have that. Um, so th those possibilities are out there. Um, and then, of course, dealing with the UFOs, which would be um, crashed UFOs or obtained UFOs or UFO technology. This story also goes into speaking about how in 19 oh, sorry 2018 it emerged that the british defense experts have spent 50 years trying to catch a ufo so they could use the technology well i mean if you're trying to catch something well then i would imagine you believe that it exists and if other governments are doing the same there has to be at least something to it and i mean i i, I completely would believe that they're not being honest because um, the usual reference would be the Brookings report and how people would lose their minds and go insane and so on and so forth. <clears throat> but um, I thought the story was interesting. Um, I also think that um, I would imagine that the military itself would be prepared for some kind of situation, though what it could be or what it could do is a huge question. And um, that ranges from ufo crashes to secret space fleets to current individuals that claim that they serve in a secret space fleet that combats aliens across the solar system so i like the article thought it was interesting and thank you so here's my next video a uh, little short guy here it's from express and it is done by tom fish Comment study suggests life on Earth may have alien origins. Uh, simply, the article, which is a fairly long article, indicates that uh, comets, uh, multiple ones, they contain the elements needed for life, you know, billions of years ago. And uh, the short version <clears throat> of this entire article is essentially that the team doing the research... The team wrote in their research paper just published in the monthly notices of the Royal Astronomical Society. This result completes the detection of life necessary CHNOPs or CHNOPs elements in solid contemporary matter indicating commentary delivery as a potential source of these elements to the young Earth. Now, just in case you want to know what the CHNOPs elements are it's simple carbon hydrogen nitrogen oxygen phosphorus and sulfur 
They also indicate in the uh, the end of this article that <clears throat> um, there's going to be more more studies done, and they need more studies to be certain. But <clears throat> as of right now, it looks as if that the possibility of some kind of uh, panspermia event or just simple that's where the elements of life came from was from a comet several billion years ago could be possible thank you so the next article i have is from express and it is written by tom fish and it is a space law its first step of extraterrestrial government already being prepared the article basically talks about initially elon musk believing that the best way and other people believe it as well that Mars should have its own set of laws and that no country or nation should implement their laws on Mars and basically making Mars a free, independent government. Um, the article goes through um, not really many opposing views, but uh, basically m many people agreeing with it that it seems like a fairly good idea to use mars as its independent uh country as you were planet um which i find um on a side note i find it to be hilarious because i can't tell you how many shows i've watched where um independent mars and earth have a have an issue several centuries down the road when they don't get along because some people are earth born and other people are mars born and they just don't get along but that's one of the reasons I picked the article, because I thought that was funny. But thank you. So this last story is from Express, and it's by Callum Poré. Probably pronounced that wrong, but I have a question for you. Do you know where you're going to live in five billion years? Is that real estate really going to hold? Well, let me tell you the good news in five billion years when our sun turns into a red giant and fire consumes the earth i would like to sell you some prime real estate on pluto from what i've read just here you too can come in on the bottom level of this new business and then you can then recruit your friends to work beneath you it's not a scheme. It's a way of life. <clears throat> they state here that Pluto will be about the temperature of the sun. Or temperature of the sun. Temperature of Earth. Sorry. Temperature of Earth when the sun expands and engulfs those planets. That life on Pluto could be possible just because of the sun's expansion. So that's pretty interesting. Um, I want you to know that I'll keep my line open, and uh, I'll take your offers. So if you've been listening, thank you. Have a good day.